Welcome back everyone, today I have another video and this time we're playing Smoker. I haven't done a video on Smoker for this set yet, so I mean, I wanted to do that one. Uh, however, I have made a video on Luffy, the Black Luffy, and they're basically the same deck to be honest. Uh, only thing the, that I have changed is that I added like a Marine Fort, just like an extra like eruption target that combos well with the leader, but it's only a one-off uh, at most. And and yeah, pretty much everything else. I added Kusan to the deck, but like pretty much everything is the same that I made on the Luffy video. Because this this leader kind of wants to just play the Navy stuff and wants to play Rob Lucy and wants to abuse that ability. I mean, black as a color, uh, all the black leaders that are just mono black, I think they're gonna look pretty similar right now if they want to compete. Because I mean, that's the, just the best way to play them right now, uh, with like Navy and the, uh, the Rebecca. Uh, Hina and Rob Lucy, uh, like your Asakatsuki leader that tries to be like it just has one more life, but it's not as powerful because it doesn't have the blue removal spells. However, you still have um, a, a decent matchup into pretty much everything. You're, you're just the color black uh, on itself is really strong, and as I said on my tier list video, it's just a really strong color right now. That just because you got so many new good cards you get to be a strong only on, on the fact of that, that, that stuff. And you're going to get to see it today. Like, unless you're, I mean, especially if you're going second with this leader. With second with this leader is very strong because you get to Kusan first and all this stuff, all the uh, really uh, strong stuff. But it, really the overperforming is, is, is Lushi. Lushi with so many cost reducing abilities allows you to just KO two things super easily. And that's just the card that makes uh, Black so good right now. Uh, but yeah. With that being said, uh, let's go see the gameplay. All right, we're gonna go against Sakatsuki, and um, yeah, this hand is good, very good actually. So we can keep, and um, we'll see. Uh, we have a turn two, turn three, turn four play, maybe. So I think we're in a good spot. I kind of want to find, well, something else here, but that's fine, I guess. At least we got something. Uh, I want to find some of the removal plays. I have none, <laughs> but that's fine, I guess. Let's see if he plays Hina turn two. He does not, so we take a damage. That's, that's okay. Ooh, Sakatsuki is actually very nice. Okay, okay, this hand is actually shaping up. I like it. Uh, we're gonna play the Kusan because why not? If he gets removed, it's fine. And he chooses a car, and we have more options here. And I do want him to play like a, a four drop, whatever his name, so he can kill both of us. But um, no blocker. I think we're gonna just combo this guy. I think we're gonna need in this turn, this game. And then we can just play this card, this card. Then we can buy, buy it back if anything. So yeah, we have we're in a decent spot here. Okay, he has the Rob Lucy, which we knew was going to be a possibility. But now we have the answer for that one. And this one uh, doesn't die to the 7 drop, which is important, actually. Very, very important. So that now, he cannot just slam down the eight, the, the 7 drop. He has to like do some maneuvers trying to play something else. And then we can get him with like a Rebecca... Hina combo. Although Lushi will be good after the Kusan, but that's no guarantee that's gonna happen next turn. So maybe it's fine. I mean, we do want to force his Rebecca combo so we can play the Kusan, remove his stuff, and then we'll go from there, right? I think that's good. Now he's a two life, which is not great for him, I think. And he destroyed the man cherry, which is good. For three, he can do like um what you might call it? The um, Oh, we're gonna have a good turn actually. We can do Hina Rob Lushi here. Yeah, that's really good for us. And then we go Hina to make this a zero. Then we go Smoker to make this uh one, I guess. A two is what I meant. Then we go this guy 
let's get back this one this one and which one is better to send back to the deck i think both are good we have a uh, hina but he can also bottom deck it so let's get the bartolomeo since we have another one let's do this too and then attack for six of course now it's his turn to do the same but then we're gonna play kusan Ooh, wait oh i thought he he thought that that, that i was seven i uh, remember i'm playing ranked right now so uh he just didn't realize that this not was not seven. oh no i think he does get seven he did they get seven because of the uh because of the uh the, the, the rebecca was zero it's my bad i'm the, the bad one not my opponent uh he was correct here but that was a good a good thing. He comboed two cards there. That was really good. Now, I, I expect him to do the same, Rebecca Lushi combo. But then we have Kusan to, to answer that. And that's, that's going to be good. I think that's going to be important here. Because then that forces him to not be able to play the dragon. Or, well, I mean, he might still play the dragon. But we're going to try to gain some advantage here still. Uh, I should not take this damage, by the way. Even though I don't have too many cards in hand, uh, I think it's better not to not take that damage. He might still play the seven drop, however. Because of the Hound Blazes, the Hound Blazes are really effective against us. So I expect the Hound Blaze to come down uh, at some point this turn. And then he does Reveille Kalushi combo. Oh no. Oh, I guess he needs the minus two here. Wait, that doesn't not mean that doesn't make sense. But you know what? I'll take it. Then I'll go draw, attack for five. See if he wants to block. If he wants to block, that's fine. If he doesn't, that's fine as well. Now, mind you, the dragon is better than the um, than the Kusan. But at this spot that we have right now, I think the dragon is not that bad. Because I can do, I mean, the Kusan is not that bad. Because I can go with Rebecca, like Great Eruption plus the leader, and play the uh, the other guy. And I think I can just remove whatever he plays. I'll take this one, just in case. But I think we're going to be in a good spot, even if he does play Tendro Kaido. He does play the Tendro. Oh, but, but we're good. We're in a good spot here. Okay, so let's just do this. So we get back the the Lushi. Yeah, this get back the Lushi. Play the brand new. Brand new will get us Sakatsuki. I think is ooh, yeah, Sakatsuki is good. And then we have a uh, greater option make this a seven then the leader make this this becomes a seven then we play uh rob lucy use action uh we get rid of the man cherry i guess the uh eruption and i guess i don't need kusan then we kill this one and this one we attack for seven and we attack for 10, which is great. That puts him to one and he has to remove our board, which is actually not that easy. And we have, I mean, he has to remove the Kusan because the Kusan, can just, I can just get too much value out of the Rob Lushi, that's for sure. I can just remove anything that he plays for free. Not that I'm not going to be able to do it next turn, but it's still, <laughs> that's too free for my Kusan. Like I don't need minus in abilities at that point. But we're in a good spot. I think we are in a in a decent spot coming into this turn. Much better than, uh, yeah, much better than him, of course. He's a uh, one life. I have a two, and I have the board control. Now this is interesting. Um, I think I should defend the, the 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 brand new. I think it's it's good to defend the brand new here because I, I think that the more creatures that I have, the better for me, in, in general. So I don't see a reason not to force him to use like a Hound Blaze on the brand new or something like that. Like he can do uh, Lushi combo. Oh, okay. Okay. He does Ice Age or Salino. 
Okay. And then he's forced to use the the, the Hound Blaze because of because of the block. That's that's pretty good. Uh, draw for turn. Now, I could do Marine Ford and Sakatsuki and attack for big numbers. I like that. <laughs> that sounds uh, like a plan. So let's do Marine Ford and then rest it to get minus two. Then we go this one, use action, discard the Kobe, I think. Yeah, because we have uh, Lucy for something else. Uh, kill that guy. And then attack 7-7. Seven, seven. Kind of works. And these cards are not easy to be removed. And if he plays uh, like Rebecca's blockers, we can just kill them. If he plays uh, Borsalinos, we cannot kill them, but we can play our own Borsalino, which is not bad. Okay, so he's down to two cards and three cards in hand. And I do see myself winning this one. Like, it has to be something really special to be losing this one. Maybe Rob Lucy combo. But not even that. Rob Lucy combo doesn't, doesn't do it, I think. Yeah, Borsalino doesn't do it, of course. Uh, brand new. Definitely not the card that he wants. And uh, definitely something that I can just kill easily with my leader plus uh, like the Shigi and something else. So he has to play Sabo so I don't kill his stuff, which is okay. I mean, I'm okay with that. And then he's going to have to try to have three attackers for the next turn. I mean, I just combo out of this one, right? That should be enough. Oh, Hound Blaze? Oh, well, that's actually very good. So then I have to go for a game. Oh, uh, but I win here. Yeah, I mean, he only has a 2k counter. I just attack for like 10, 10, and it should be enough to win. <laughs> and we're going to play against Law. Historically, this has not been a good matchup, but now we have Rob Lucy. So I think it is going to be a good one right now. Because uh, we're going to do Rob Lucy, attack, and we're going to pressure very, very hard. And that Sakatsuki, I think it's gonna it's gonna be what we need. Uh, definitely gonna do it here. Um, I guess I can only get the Kobe, so let him go. And um, we do have to combo one card. No, I have a option. Although I don't want to wear option. I mean, it's fine. I can just a option. That's fine. And then we have multiple avenues here. I think we can even buy back a, a Rob Lucci and be okay. It's gonna be fine too. Let's see what my opponent does. And then we play this guy, and then we play Rebecca Lucci. Oof. I, I don't think he can beat that. But let's see. Uh, this one is not gonna be good in this matchup, however. Oh, this is going to be good here, though. No. Okay. Well, we're going to do the uh, cycle minus on this one. And we're going to do... Lu oh, no, but the Lushi on Grave. I mean, I guess it's fine. Use action. One, two, three. This one and this one. And then attack for five. Then we have Sakatsuki for his law, and then Sakatsuki for his law. I think that's fine. And then if he destroys my Lucy, my Lucy, we get it back and destroy two of his cards. I think that's fine. I like to see that happen. And then here he has to he can he can do a swap this turn. Maybe I should have killed the Dogra. Eh, maybe that was the play. But I guess it's fine. Uh, no blockers. I guess I could just combo one. I don't want to take damage early. Okay, he's going to attack with Nami. Please. 
do so. I think he cannot attack. Oh, he's going to attack with Nami. Oh, great. Okay, I'll take it. Now I can attack Nami, attack his leader, and KO something with Takatsuki. I like that. Oh, he's going to play something for free. I see. And then swap. I see. I can only swap one. Oh, I see. Um... Yeah, I mean, we combo here. And then we go Sakatsuki, use action, kill this guy, use action, this and this one, so he becomes a seven, attack on this guy. If he wants to give me his hand trying to defend this, God bless. And then attack for five, six, and we are so ahead right now. Just because of the one Rob Luigi. Then he needs to do combo and he needs to destroy a little bit of our board too. Like we're just in a good spot at the moment. And if he destroys my Rob Luigi, we just get it back and we can even do it next turn if we want to. It's actually a really good decent play. Because we can uh, play uh, Hina and play the Rob Luigi and then just completely destroy him next turn. Oh my goodness. This is the reason why. La loses really hard to this car. He's just not not even funny. If he destroy my Rob Lucci, if he doesn't destroy my Rob Lucci, I am okay with that. But yeah, I'll take it. Don't worry. It's it's fine with me. And then we have the Sakatsuki for like the the thing, and this is just brutal at this point. This car has been a lot of value though, Dogra. And here he goes Soro. He's gonna attack us for a big number. Uh should I block? I should block, right? No blockers, but yeah, let's, let's just get out of that one. I don't wanna be subjective. Oh he oof, yes. Okay, so here's how he's gonna go. This is going to be a 7, so we're going to be able to kill this one by battle. So we go Rebecca, buy back Lushi, play this one. Then we play the Lushi, use action, minus uh, this one, this one, and I guess this one. Kill this one and this one. Then we're going to do this ability here on this. So it becomes a 7, and we can attack this one for free. And you know what? I'm okay if he wants to attack. If he wants to play something for free, we're attacking for 7, putting him up 0. And he better he better go for game or see how he's going to deal with this, because it's not going to be easy. And I do also like the one drop on board, because I can just use the ability here and get a lot of value. And yeah, that's that's the reason this matchup is really bad for Law. Like this type of matchups, any matchup that is playing Rob Lucci is just too much value when you can buy it back and applying a lot of pressure and doing all of this for free. It really, it really is not something that you want to be dealing with, because now you have to play blockers, you have to play a uh, loss, and we're able to. Th th the main reason why is because you're able to remove the loss easily. And that's like your best card in the deck. Uh, and that's how you base your whole deck around. It's like your offense and your defense. And if you're able to remove it that easily, it's just they don't have too much to do here. And then here, the best thing he can do is like play blockers. Maybe remove my Sakatsuki with like an Otama. Because he does have Otama, but it's going to be hard to swap. I know he, he can swap it back easily. But he's going to need a lot of things here to be able to win. I don't think it's going to be an easy one. He goes Otama, search, make him minus four, attack it, and uh, you know what? You got it. I don't need her. It was just like a distraction there for me. He goes with uh, Jewelry Bunny, which we're going to be able to kill with uh, Sakatsuki. Not Jewelry, but we're going to be able to kill the law. He's going to restand it, but now he doesn't have blockers, so he's going to have to sacrifice some of his cards here. Uh, Beige to just play something. Uh, 
I don't know why I should just block these. Whatever. He plays Beige, spawns us back to the hand. Uh, I'll draw, draw for turn. Then we go for, you know what? We're just gonna play it safe here. Um, we're just gonna attack for a big number here. It's like eight. Eight, 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 seven, eight. Well, now it doesn't matter, right? Now I can just go eight. See if he has another two 2k counters. And if he does, that's fine. We just go seven. No, actually, we just go for game. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and we're going to play against Luffy. Uh, this hand is pretty nice, actually. I think it's what we want to have against Luffy. Some white removal. And uh, brand new on turn two is pretty, pretty, pretty nice. Ooh, and Rebecca, too. Okay, I like what I see. Let's get the 2k counter. Yes, let's end the turn. And then... Um, he can play a 4-drop here. But we're gonna play the Borsalino next turn. We could also no, let's just block out of that one. I wanna be defending early too. So I wanna get to a high life total. Ooh. Well, I was not expecting that one. I can tell you that much. Oh, uh, that's fine, I guess. So I'll attack. For five, he wants to give us another card. That, that's okay with me. Again, the idea is that we have the Rob Lucy combo here. Not next turn, but the following turn after that. Although, however, if we draw some minus ability, we'll be able to do the Rob Lucy combo as soon as next turn. So I like it. But we don't need to rush it. That's that's what I'm trying to get into. Like we don't need to rush that combo. And then we can attack with the brand new into his stuff, and you know, that I mean is decent, but doesn't do anything really. Uh, it just allows us to have some cars here, so we can do some nice stuff here. He's gonna go five five. I think he's gonna go five five. Yeah. I mean, block, because it's free. <laughs> and then take that one, of course. Ooh. Ooh, I have to be careful, though. Because of the... What do I do? This is minus two. I kind of have to play the... Uh... Yeah, I kind of have to play it this way. My problem is if he does play... No, no, that's fine. We can kill a 9-drop, right? I think so. I think so. If he plays a 9-drop, I think we're going to be fine. I mean, it sucks because he's going to clear our board. But I think we'll be fine. And then, yeah. Yeah, I think... I think it sucks, but he's minus in, he's done. And I think we can clear most of his board. <laughs> I ch okay, could have been worse. Couldn't be worse. I'll take it. Because now we can uh, block. Ooh. Oh, that sucks. But at least we still have the minus here. So we still have the combo. No, I, I guess I don't have the minus on the law. Uh, no blocker. Let's just block out of that one. And then here, I guess I'll take it. Wow. Okay. Just draw for turn. Ooh, that's the card that I was looking for. And, um, okay, minus two. I guess we can attack with the uh, this guy into the leader. Minus four. It should block. 
it should know what's coming. But if he blocks, then I get to attack him for seven. I mean, we're gonna attack him for seven anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think we're attacking for seven, six. And then six. See if he has another 2k counter. Ooh, and seven. I'll take it. I put him at one, and we were able to kill his car. Next turn, we have the Raw Blushy combo all, all, all over again. So it should be fine for us. It's annoying. That's annoying, but I guess we can deal with that. Choose no targets, let him go. We're okay, we're in a good spot. I can maybe kill Magellan next turn, Magellan. If he does the nine drop, however, I mean... Okay, he goes eight, so he's not gonna do the nine drop. It should kill my Kusan. But sure, I guess we'll let him go that way. He's done enough, I think. And now we can just protect this one if we can. Kill both his cards and be okay with that. I'm okay with that. Yeah, no blocker. I, I'll take the minus on this one. Oh, no. Wait, you should have killed this one, though. Okay, so eight done. Yeah, it allows us to remove both. So that's that's great. Uh, here. And then attack here. Oh, he has... Okay. Uh, get back the, the Hina. Use this here. And then Rob Lushi. Use action. Rob Lushi, uh, Porcelino, and uh, Zoro. Kill both. Sure, I lose to Don, but that's fine. Let him go. And yeah, from here, even if he does play a 10 drop Kaido, I don't see it, brother. That is enough to win here. He did have two Pauline, but the problem is that playing, playing Pauline is too slow. Like, it doesn't do enough. Like, yeah, he kills one of my things, and he should have killed my Kusan for sure. But again, this is the rank, so... This is the rank mode, so, I mean, you cannot really complain about this game. Oh, I see. Well, <laughs> I was not expecting that one. Call me uh, surprised, for sure. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, what does he do from here? Gets to ramp here. And that's good and all, but kill my two things here. I'm sure. We get to attack with everything here. <laughs> uh, oh, he's playing this card. Interesting. Well, this should be a good matchup for me, honestly. Uh, my opponent did is going second. So it's not the freest one. And I think I want to mulligan this hand for that reason. Do I? Yeah, because the problem is that he's gonna play. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Yeah, I do want to see a brand new early. Uh, yeah, let him go. And let's see what he does. He does a baby five, so that forces me to attack that one. That is good and all, I guess. He plays a Rocinante, which actually is really good against our leader. Uh, let's play this one. Let's do a brand new. Uh, let's get the one that draws, I guess. And then let's play the Man Cherry, actually. Not bad. Because then that allows me to combo and get it back and then force him to attack my cards. Or attack my cards also kind of works. The more time I buy, the better for me. Ah, I see. 
Okay, okay. I I see. Sure, sure, sure. I'll take it. He's gonna have to tap my brand new, however. No, he's gonna let it die. Uh, sure, I'll just attack him here. Yeah, what is he gonna do? Protect it? Not really. Attack for six. See if he wants to KO my Kusan, but I don't really think he wants to. And as soon as I get to play the Kusan, uh, this matchup should be all but over, to be honest. Even if he does play 10 drop, 10 drop, or something like that. It's gonna be really difficult for him to outclass this car. I actually do want one car. He picked no cards. Oh my god, that's so brutal. He does do the birth, birth cage, so yeah. I mean, it's fine. Uh, I don't really mind that much. Maybe I have to be more careful on taking life from now on. Let him go. But I, yeah, I should just, as long as I make it to the 10 drop, I think I should be fine. So as long as I combo early, even if I have to tap my Borsalino, I think that's fine. Also, my Borsalino doesn't die to the cage, by the way. Uh, no blockers, but I combo out of that one. Uh... I'll take it, I guess. I see. So he wants me to attack it. Sure, I'll attack him. With the Borsalino, that's fine. Because what he's going to do is he's going to attack me again with this. Okay, fair enough. And then let's just play the Rob Lucy here. Just to get tempo back. Uh, I guess we play him first. One, two, three. KO, KO. And then we play the... Um, the Kusan next turn, for sure. He can... He can tap it. Oh, he's not going to tap it. Okay. That's the fine thing about Borsalino here, is that... He's not going to be able to KO it with the cage. So as long as this one's still on top, I think I'm fine. going to attack for six, which means he's not going to let me. So no blockers. Let's just combo to that one. Oh, okay. So he's going to pop. Okay, I like that. Uh, I guess I just play the Kusan. That's fine. Let him go. Next turn I have like this guy for sure KO'd. And then he can play a 10 drop all he wants, but that doesn't matter. Not here. Although I don't have a way to remove this guy. But it shouldn't be that difficult with when I have a brand new to search for it. And I might have to block with the Borsalinos, but that's fine. Yeah, just block. Go ahead. I'll take that one because I... Yeah, okay. I just needed the removal, to be honest. And then here, uh, he's minus five. I just need a minus two. There you go. Then we go... Kobe, use action on this one. Kill that one. Then I guess we're going to play... Well, let's attack for five first. See if he wants to use a Pong Gibson here. He does. Okay. So now we're attack for... Wait. We'll do this guy. Attack for seven and then attack for ten.
And then, yeah, he can pay a, a 10 drop all he wants, but that's not going to be good enough. At least not here. Uh, no blockers. Just combo to that one. He freezes three cards. I'll draw for turn. Do I have a way to remove on my graveyard? No. Hmm. Well, I don't die next turn, so why would I not just attack with everything, right? Just force him to combo a lot of cards here and... Yeah, he probably doesn't even have enough. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that was that was the correct play here. Attack with everything. <laughs> All right, and we're gonna play against Zoro. Zoro, we wanna see or Sakats, not Sakatsuki, but the. What are we going? He chose to go first. This hand is good going for second though. We wanna see the Lushi, but I mean, we don't really take this hand away, right? We can get a like a, a Kusan or. Uh, we can get a porcelino, yeah. Like we get, we we can get some value here for sure. I might want to combo early. I don't want to combo the the, the sherry. No, I'll take that one. That's fine. Ooh, what is he playing? Oh, definitely attacking here and then playing porcelino. This is not a matchup for Kusan. I can I can tell you that much. Uh, now I do have to be aggressive defending, I think. I could just play Hina and Kobe next turn too. That's not bad. And then I can play like uh, Sakatsuki and Mancherry. I think that's gonna be my place here. I like that. Okay, Rusher. So he goes five. Okay, block for free. Seven, take. Ooh, that changes my play. And then block with this one. No blockers. Block with this one. That's three. Okay, well, that's a perfect number here. So we go this guy. Kill this two. Yeah. Use action. One, two, three. Let's kill this guy and this guy. And let's attack with this guy here. Because I like to take cards out of his hand. I'm okay with that. He wants to give me one case and two K counters. You know what? I respect that. And then attack him, definitely. Because we want to be aggressive right now. And then we want to defend or hunt aggressively so we can get some value out of Mancherry. So this turn I'm going to defend. And then next turn I'm gonna do Sakatsuki uh, discard. I'll defend this turn and then we should have enough for Mancherry to be active. And yeah, definitely one of the reasons why... Ooh, he did fire face in these two cards. I take it. I don't even need to do anything here. <clears throat> Is he going to attack over Borsalino? You know what? You got it. Uh, I guess I can just play... Borsalino, I guess. Attack for seven. First, because of triggers out of life. I might be able to... No, I pro I'm not going to play Sakatsuki, but I'm going to play... I mean, I'm not going to get value out of Sakatsuki this turn, this game, uh, out of Kusan. But that's fine. I'll just play a 7-drop here. It's super hard to remove. Um, he's attacking for 7. doesn't really want to see that. And this seems to be a, like a really aggressive rush deck, which is we don't have any problems with. And if he attacks with everything like Lushi, then, then I might just be able to play a Kusan and... And from there, it's, uh, it's uh, lights out for my opponent. 
It does do the jet pistol, however. And place this guy, which we don't really care. We could just combo out of this one, and we should. Draw. And we are going, just gonna get the value here. I think. Playing this one, use action. This card. This one, honestly. We don't really care about this. And then attack for. Well, we're gonna play the Borsalino, so that's one, two, three, four. And then attack for 8-8 eight, eight. is good. Yeah, I like that. That way he's forced to use the Radical Beam here. Or else. I mean, he should use the Radical Beam here, I think. But he hasn't played any 1-drops to search. Okay, he took it. Oh, what do you do there? <laughs> Four. I mean, whatever. <laughs> I'm okay with this, I guess. And now, uh, yeah, here from here, it doesn't really matter. He'd never play a one drop, so. And it, well, whatever he played fast, we were just able to remove with the lo Rob Lucy. Oh, that's the plan. I see. I see. Well, no. I'm just going to attack for a big number here. He's going to have a rat beam. Oh. Can we kill this? Minus four, minus five. No, not enough. So we go for the nine here. See if he wants to take that one. He has a rat beam. We know that much. And then we go with everything on the, on the leader, I guess. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. Thirteen, that's a rat beam plus... Oh, guard point, I guess. Sure. All right, and for final thoughts on uh, what I think on the rating on this deck is... Uh, I think it's definitely a 4.5 liter uh, stars. Could be even a 5. Like it, it, the color, Again, the color black is so good right now that it deserves to be just like that just it doesn't matter what leader you're playing it's just the cards quality on black right now is really strong and also it's just gonna keep getting better with the release of the next set so yeah i mean if you're looking on, on, on like getting into black right now is the the, the time because it's just gonna keep getting better and better uh as the next set is gonna be, re be revealed and it's gonna be really strong as well but with that being said that's all i have for today thank you all for watching and have a good day